early man was a hunter-gatherer. We'd go out and we'd you know, look for berries and find an animal somewhere. Uh, but eventually we learned how to cultivate crops and how to cultivate animals, and that's allowed us to feed many more people than we'd be able to otherwise. We're trying to do the same thing with energy. Over a long time and lots of heat and pressure, the old plants and dinosaurs got compressed into oil. We're making that happen in just one minute, and that's really something extraordinary. Our lab is focusing on converting algae into a bio crew. That's just one step of the overall process that we required to enable us to actually like, grow our own fuel. We've been able to demonstrate that you know, one minute is enough time to break down the, the bio macromolecules in the algae, convert it into smaller things that are this bio crude oil. Now I will just put the reactors into the sand bath. The sand is at about 500 degrees Celsius, and after a minute goes by, we pull them back out. So, all right, here goes. We use the sand because it's able to move like a liquid. If you stick your hand into a bucket of water, you can feel the water touching all of your hand. If you stick your hand into a bucket of marbles, you don't always get that same contact. So by using really, really small solids that act like a liquid, we get better heat transfer. We're speeding up the reactions that would happen underground, like where you get regular petroleum oil. Inside the reactor, all of the water and the algae are heating up. When water gets hotter, it expands. So the pressure inside the reactor is increasing very, very quickly since the temperature is so hot on the outside of the reactor. Previously in the field, the conventional wisdom was that it took tens of minutes or half an hour, even an hour, for this conversion to take place. So we've really compressed that timeline. And the main impact of that is it will reduce the capital cost and probably the operating cost for uh, an algae biofuel process. All right, two, one, and now they get pulled out. In order to make the biocrude we get out of this process really usable for a fuel, we need to upgrade it in a way that removes a lot of the oxygen and the nitrogen and all the things that we don't want. That will make it a really high quality fuel that we can use in our cars and our planes. Instead of going out and drilling holes and pulling coal out of the ground and, and just you know, using what's there, we like to be smarter about it, more deliberate, and actually grow our, our energy crops so that we can then you know, have, have more abundant energy, hopefully have cheaper energy, and hopefully enjoy more security in terms of where our energy source comes from.